Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for tractors. Today you join us here at our Class UK headquarters at Saxon and in this video we are going to have a look at some of the drive modes and headline gear settings that we can make on our hex shift machines with CIS Plus. So, you now join us back up in the cab of our CIS Plus hex to shift machine, looking at some of the functions and automatic features that we have on this transmission in this machine in front of us. So starting simply, well, we have our main CIS knob which is used for changing gears. And we can see that we have a small push forwards and backwards used for changing gears up and down. And we also have a large push forwards and backwards used for changing ranges. These different pushes relate to the different driving modes that we have on the machine. So we have two driving modes. Firstly, road, which we can see annotated by this green button here that has the little road symbol on it. And what road mode does for us gives us all of our gear changes and all of our range changes available on the small push. So we can change from gear C6 to D1, for example. If we then change into field mode, which is this button up here, annotated green now because it is turned on and we have the symbol of the field in it. What this does is it essentially locks us into the range for only our small push. So now we only have gears one to six available on the small push. And to change range from C to D, for example, we would need to push through the detent or again, the same coming back down. The reason for this is if we think about maybe cultivating, for example. And when we're maybe increasing our gears, trying to get a bit more speed, we don't want to accidentally change range from B to C, for example, and get that break in power. The next level of automatic features on this machine is going to be our headland gear. The headland gear is an on or off value, and what it does is it toggles between two gears. So for example, we haven't used the feature yet. I maybe have gear C2 set at the moment with the headland gear feature turned off, which you can use by this button up here on top of the CIS knob. If I then get to my headland and I maybe want gear C4 for turning on my headland, what I can do is firstly press my headland gear button, then manually select gear C4 by increasing two gears, I can then turn on my headland and then to automatically shift back down to gear C2, all I would have to do is press my headland gear button again. And subsequently for each turn on my headland to shift automatically between C2 and C4, all I have to do is tap my one button on top of my CIS knob. And the nice thing about this feature is that it automatically remembers the gear that you were in previously for each time the button or the function was turned on or off. So a nice simple feature to help us increase our productivity on our headland there as well. So thank you for watching everyone. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine and if you have any further questions don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.